Hi guys, it's Irit with a new process video and I am using the January hip kit and I am going to use that lovely uh, acetate sheet uh, from We Are Memory Keepers and this came in the color add-on for January and um, yeah it's just lovely and this is like really great if you want to use it as a layering piece or this could actually be a really cool um, background also for a page just to use that but then um, you know you'd have to figure out in your album what to put on the other side I think Shamel actually one time did a, a video uh, where she used the transparency for I think like two-thirds of a page. Anyway, there's like lots of things you can do and I decided to go the the color kit came with three acetate sheets and I don't know they really reminded me of um, like pop art and that type of thing so something really graphic and I decided um, that kind of inspired kind of the concept for my background it's nothing too complicated but basically what I did is I cut that acetate sheets in sheet into uh, strips and I left it um, no actually I cut it down a little bit from the 12 by 12 I also cut my white paper as you can see right now I cut it to 11 and a half inch square and then I cut the um, the acetate a little bit uh, narrower than that and I cut it into strips and I made each strip a little bit shorter than the other one so I don't know I think I started with two inches or two and a half and then I went and then I, I kept um, cutting a half inch less so two inches one and a half one half inch um, I think that's those were the measurements but the principle is um, you know quite simple it doesn't really matter um, the exact measurements and I am adhering them back on my um, background with just a little bit of a gap uh, between them I just thought it would be something fun and uh, different to try and that's gonna be my background and actually besides that this layout is very very simple um, I really liked making it and I think it looks um, lovely the end result there's not too much in it and even though this uh, acetate sheet is very bold I would say um, I don't think the final result is really busy or anything I, th I think it turned out really nice and uh, I'm adding here some texture paste from Ranger and this came in a previous kit um, and I'm using also the stencil that came in this month's kit or January's kit yeah we're still in January for two more days um, and I'm recording this on the 29th it's Friday um, it's it's not Friday it's Thursday and it's really snowing outside it's lovely everything is white but I soon will have to go and shovel some snow so that I can drive and bring my daughter from kindergarten so um, yeah that will be my exercise for the day um, not that I would do any kind of exercise if I didn't have to shovel the snow but that's a completely different <laughs> matter <laughs> that's just me being lazy anyway you can see I am adding um, these hearts and I'm using the stencil this is a basic gray and hero arts stencil and it also came in the kit and um, what I like about acetate sheets is that you can add modeling paste on them and it looks great and they hold it really really well and because they are that type of surface they don't buckle at all even though the ranger paste doesn't really buckle the um, the paper unless you use like a lot of it on a large uh, surface but my paper did not buckle at all with this layout so I thought about adding some I don't know you know like some mists or my usual thing like adding some some sort of 
um, watercolors with packaging but I really liked the clean look that I got here I like the hearts on the acetate and I liked the white on white that I got at the top um, so I really decided to um, I really decided I decided <laughs> to keep it simple um, for me at least and then I saw um, if you don't know the Hip Kit Club member forum on Facebook, it's a really, really lovely group. And one of the uh, members on the group posted a few layouts um, and they were just beautiful. Um, I'm, I'm sorry that I don't uh, remember her name from the top of my head, but um, they were just gorgeous, gorgeous layouts with lovely layers. And I saw that and it really inspired me to add um, lots of layers behind my photo and um, yeah that's what I did I used some leftovers I used some uh, some just like regular printer paper I used a little bit of vellum um, I use some like I don't know my daughter you know folds like regular paper and then cuts into it and makes kind of something that looks like snowflakes or something like that. So she's been doing that a lot lately and uh, she keeps giving it to me as presents, uh, which is really sweet, but I don't know what to do with them. Uh, so I decided to add one here uh, on my layout as my uh, one of the layers. There it is. I don't know if you can exactly see what it is at the end, but it just adds some uh, interest and um, yeah, some nice details. And I'm also going to use some leftover die cuts that I had from a different layout. And just adding, this is a really great way to use all kinds of little bits and pieces that you're not sure uh, what to do with them. And the photo here is of my daughter in her uh, explorer outfit. <laughs> we just uh, went out to, you know, just walk around a little bit in uh, nature. The nice thing about the area where I live, I live in the countryside, but also the nearest town is very green and um, there's like lots of just lovely places to walk around in and forests and, uh, you know, farms and all kinds of like really nice things. So that's what we did. And she's, I don't know, holding a stick and <laughs> modeling her little... Um, hat. I got that hat for her. I think it was in Target and I was visiting my best friend but that was already like over a year ago at the end of 2013 so uh, I really need to go again. I wish I could. And I also wanted to say thank you so much to all the people who left me such lovely comments. I'm not sure I made myself clear. Not that it's such a big deal but I am still a student and I still have the rotations that I'm starting uh, next month are still um, a part of my uh, duties as a student here. I'm kind of, I have some weird uh, student status because I'm only making some uh, makeup stuff, um, you know, because I am already, <laughs> I already graduated once. Thank you. So um, yeah, I'm still a student, which actually makes me happy because you know it means that I'm there to learn and I don't have um, a lot of responsibility except learning so uh, I'm really happy because I get to see a little bit how the system here works I mean I've worked in a hospital but not here in Austria so um, and then there's of course the language so um, yeah this will be strange, new, exciting, and a little bit nerve-wracking, but <laughs> I've had, um, you know, much more stressful things, uh, so I am really, you know, just trying to be uh, happy about moving forward. And you can see what I'm adding. I'm just adding a little bit bits and pieces. I also wanted to keep the color scheme very um, simple here, and just those two little flowers from Heidi Swap. I thought they went really well. Um, the leaves have this kind of weird greenish, like a cold, almost blue green. Um, so that went really well with the background. I didn't want to bring like that uh, bright green, which I love, but I just didn't want to bring it into this uh, layout. 
and I'm using some of the cork pieces that came in the main kit and that's kind of it this video will end soon oh of course enamel dots you can never have too many enamel dots um, I'm adding those and yeah this is my final layout if you have any questions please leave me a comment thank you so so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video have a great day bye